Good morning world from the markets of General Luna. The whole family's here, Poppy's here, Story's here. Story, what are we going to go look for today in the market? Kiwi! Kiwi. I want some for my dinner. You want kiwis for dinner? Kiwis for dessert for dinner, that's what I'm talking about. Dessert after your dinner, yeah? Yeah. Not just kiwis and nothing else, no? <laughs> yeah. Grab some bags, do some proper shopping. We haven't been vegetable shopping for a few days now. Running low on stocks, we are, aren't we? We need everything. We need so much. Everything. <laughs> I hope they've got a good selection today. Even if we don't find kiwis. We got a tip off from a local friend that kiwis are in this exact stand right here. So hopefully they haven't all been sold. It's been a few days since the tip off came through. <laughs> it's amazing that you have to get a tip off to find a kiwi. What do you think of those oranges, Story? <laughs> they look good, don't they? Oh, broccoli. broccoli. We haven't had broccoli for a while. Yeah. Told us that there were kiwis. Kiwis here? Yeah. We don't have kiwis. Oh, no kiwis. Okay, well, we can try another stand, yeah? Oh, let's try the other stand. Okay, well, let's... <laughs> Should we get some other things? How's the uh, kiwi investigation going? Good. Yeah? I'm just looking that way because there's no there. You haven't found what you're looking for yet, have we? Yeah. Should we go and have a look at this one over here? Yeah, there's a fish market right there. Can you see it? Yeah. What do you think? Think there'll be any kiwis in this store? Yeah, I think so. Mm. It's quite a small store. And there's more if you go around the corner, look. Excuse me. What do you think, Story? How's your little kiwi eyes? Can you see anything that looks like a kiwi? No, not mm. Maybe. I'm using my spyglass Your spyglass eyes? Yeah. Still can't see any, can we? Ask one of the ladies. Excuse me. Are there any kiwis around here? Kiwi? Oh, there's a kiwi story. Look, there's a kiwi. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah? What do you think, story? Do you want to touch it, see if it looks right, feels right? Choose. Yeah? Should we get them both? I think it feels right because I've I haven't had them for a long time that I thought that I've forgotten what they felt like. <laughs> well, how about we buy them both then? Here I is. have to cut them open and see if they if it's the right right colour inside. Yeah, the right we'll cut them when we get home. Inside because I remember what it looks like inside, but I forgot what it feels like. Okay. All right, we'll take them home and cut them. <laughs> the kiwis are paid, and now they've been put in a bag, and here they are. Here they are in Daddy's hand. I'm trying to look at them. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know what they feel. I've forgotten what they feel like, but I remember what it looks like in them. They cost seventy pesos. Seventy. Yeah. The kiwis normally pay that. That. Yeah. Happy with the kiwis? Daddy always says that. What? Daddy. Daddy said what? Does that make you happy with kiwis? Oh yeah, yeah? <laughs> well, I already asked you. All right, two kiwis, yeah. how much? It's, oh, they were 35 each. Okay, okay. We need to do more vegetable shopping, don't we? Yeah, we need to buy lots more. So this is actually the fish market here in GL, which I think is finishing now. It's normally on quite early in the morning. But this is where it normally is going on. Right on the edge of the water. Yeah, it's the colour of fish. Story says the sky is the colour of fish. Oh, yeah, is, yeah that's it? true. Grey. It's a bit grey out there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> colour of sardines. <laughs> Lots of little stools dotted around here. Look at the size of these veg. Taro, taro root. They give you a, a poppy scale. They're massive, aren't they? They are actually the size of poppy, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> I don't think I have a knife big enough to even cut one of those. No, up. yeah, you'd need like a machete yeah, for these. Look, they have okra here too. Oh yeah, really, really tropical vibes here. Look at the size of that coconut tree. Super cool against the blue sky. We're still on the hunt for more kiwis because if we can get them, we're gonna get them. It does actually look like it's going to start pouring down with rain, but I'm very happy we managed to get some kiwis. Now we just recently bought a new hand juicer, which squeezes oranges and lemons and grapefruits. So these look really good, these oranges here. Can you reach, Story? Yeah, the oranges are easier to grab. You choose the ones that you think will make the best squeeze, okay? <laughs> we have a lemon juicer and an orange juicer. Juicer, I mean. 
and it's beautiful. And Just paying the bill. Managed to get a few more things. We still haven't found sweet potatoes yet though. I've spotted some good bananas over here though. Some good looking bananas. Yeah? It's actually to keep the markets cool because the sun blasts in here and it makes it really hot. That's why the towels are hanging down. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Good protection. This story's got her eye on one of these green tea apple juices. She really likes those. And mummy's got her eyes on these lovely bananas, which look the best. And the rains have just started. I know, the rain's coming now. I think most of these markets are designed for people shorter than me. <laughs> I've got my hair touching every single piece of towel pulling. Come in. Yeah, come in, don't get soaked. <laughs> you got a little bit wet, didn't you? There we go, look at the big raindrops. It's all coming down. The rain's actually coming in, bug. Look, it's coming through the towel pulling. <laughs> came out of nowhere didn't it? It went from blue skies, lovely and warm and hot and sunny, to torrential rain. It is raining so much it's actually coming into the car. There we go, we have leaks and it is dripping. A few little holes to Oh there we go, drip, drip. <laughs> Absolutely pouring. Oh Poppy, did you get wet? Oh no! <laughs> A little wet head. <laughs> How about you, Story? Did you get really wet? Are you okay? I got big of my day. I just dried myself with my, yeah. my dress. Yeah, we should keep a little towel in the car, shouldn't we? Yeah. Rainy season tips. That's a good idea. Yeah. We don't have an umbrella, actually. No. Our umbrella from last year got busted. All right, well then that's our next job then. Go and buy an umbrella. <laughs> and that is how you shop for kiwis on an island. <laughs> around how many little stores did we check? Oh, five maybe? Four, four or five. Yeah. But how cool is it that we find kiwis, like uh, exotic fruit for around here, yeah. in a tiny little market and we couldn't find it in the big super store, you Yeah, know? I know. So the local markets are winning. They do, they win. They win all the time really. Yeah. We are going to check another shop, another veg stall that one of the stall owners told us to check. So we will go there a bit later. We're going to go get some lunch now and then we will continue our kiwi hunt. We're now at Lunara's Cafe. Story, you've been taking some pictures, haven't you? Oh, you're going to be an Instagrammer when you grow up, yeah? Yeah, I'm a picture girl. You are a picture girl, aren't you? This is my Instagram shot. <laughs> Finished it before I could even get a pic. Sasha's left me. She's gone to sit on the table over there because it's just higher up. It's a lot easier to eat a salad from a table. And this little popster was being a bit of a naughty. She was trying to grab stuff off the table. Come on, let's continue the kiwi hunt. You stay there, Pops. Come on you, let's see if we can get some kiwis. This is where we're heading. Kuha Sod. What's that? It's a big shop, isn't it? Yeah, we're also looking for sweet potatoes. We're also looking for peas, sorry. Can you find some peas? Peas in a can? I haven't found kiwis now, but we have got peas and coconut milk. We just ran into Caesar. We haven't seen Caesar for a long time. He's our little contact in General Luna. Story's just been telling him about her trip to Strawberry Mountain. He lives here in General Luna and he helps us out a few times. A friend of ours. By the way, thanks Story for packing the boot for us. Look at this excellent packing you did. Yeah. You're great at that. Uh, do you want to jump in the car? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, it was good to catch up with Caesar. It's been ages since we've seen him and we didn't get any kiwis. They are not uh, going to be delivered until like, I don't know, an hour's time and I don't want to wait around for that. More island problems, but at least we managed to get most of the veg. We're kind of driving off-road at the moment. The road surface here is pretty ropey, but it's manageable. We are actually going to be back in town tomorrow because Story is off to school again, so maybe we can pop in there in the morning, Jay, yeah. and see if there's any kiwis left over. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've already got the kiwis, but I wanted to make sure that they were there was different ripeness yeah. levels because these ones were really hard. Yeah, and it would so. be good to find a kiwi supply, yes. you know, rather than just finding two random kiwis. Yeah, uh, there was a time when it was like dragon fruits were everywhere. Yeah. They were in season, weren't they? Yeah. And now I haven't seen a dragon fruit in about two months. Yeah. So it's kiwi season. Yeah. <laughs> 
we quickly have to just do a stop at the vet because Poppy's due her second puppy vaccination. So we're just going to dash in there and get that done. It shouldn't take long at all. It's been two weeks since her last one. So I'm not sure how many she needs. Just the two. Oh, is it? Okay, so this is the last one then. Yeah. That's good. Okay, Poppy is done on her second lot of vaccinations. You know, they said that they think she might grow to 18 kilos. Whoa. That's massive. <laughs> yeah. She's currently seven kilos now, so she's put yeah. on a kilo since last week. She has a kilo or, yeah, a kilo, 1.1 kilos since two weeks ago, since the last time we were there. So yeah, she's growing rapidly. The vet says she's looking really good, she's really healthy. But yeah, they estimate that she'll be around 17, 18 kilos when she's fully grown. So that is a big dog for us. It's the biggest dog that we've ever owned. Yeah. And yes, yeah, so she needs two more lots of vaccination. So another month, because you have to wait two weeks in between each one. And then they said a month after that, we could look into getting her spayed. And then hopefully that will be all the poppy stuff kind of yeah. done. <laughs> it's like the big first year, isn't it? Yeah. Once you've got all those things sorted, dog yeah. ownership and everything, all the training should be done by then. Yeah. Should be so, a nicely uh, fitting member of the family. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you don't have to worry about vet treatments yeah. and everything. So they said that you have to wait um, um, about a month after the vaccinations have finished before they can get spayed. So she'll be around seven months by then is that yeah, right seven or eight months old yeah and look what store we chose for poppy a new, a new toy a new toy for poppy to nibble she on she's, she's broken it already has she <laughs> really oh no you pulled its eye out <laughs> oh well it's for poppy to destroy and nibble on look she's really going on it she likes it that's good it is like a a knotted elephant. <laughs> this is the last stop of the day before we head back home. Sasha is getting a Christmas tree made at the Shargal Artisans. It's been quite some time since we've been to this place. Sasha is also getting a Christmas present for me, which I don't know exactly what it is. It's exciting though, because anything that these guys can make is gonna be something cool, because they're very, very good at their work here. This is the little showroom that we showed the last time we came in here to check it out. Their custom board racks. They've got some new furniture in here too. Look at that. It's looking really cool. Imagine kitting out your hotel with this kind of stuff. Or just your house. Beautiful. Absolutely love that mirror as well. Check it out. That is a good size. I don't know if you can get the scale of that. So if you remember the Christmas tree that we made from driftwood the last Christmas that went by, we're basically gonna get the artisans to make us a professional version of that, something that we can deconstruct every year. Because what happened was all of the wood that we put aside to remake our Christmas tree again has just been eaten by termites. <laughs> so we can't really reuse that one again. So we thought something that could be a bit treated, something a bit more permanent, a wooden Christmas tree from the Shargal artisans. What have you seen? I've seen a birdhouse. Oh yeah, there was a birdhouse up there. Can't see any birds in there, but it is really pretty, isn't it? I think, I think one is hiding at the bottom. You think so? Yeah. It's a nice size, isn't it? I wonder if they can make a poppy house. <laughs> you little stink pop. Right, Story, don't, don't tell Daddy, okay? It's a secret. I, I told Story what it was. Don't tell me. Yeah, it's a secret, okay? Yes. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, trust Story until Christmas. I think I can. She's pretty good at keeping secrets, I have to say. I picked up Jay's surprise, which will be for Christmas. It's in the boot. It is in the boot, yes. And I think we're gonna end the vlog for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Our little afternoon out in General Luna. We are gonna head home now, and we'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye. Bye.